Welcome to Module Monday. Module Monday is a video series where I show off a cool new PowerShell module I think is worth checking out. Uh, this Monday we're looking at Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast is a PowerShell module for displaying notifications on Windows 10. So you can pop up little notifications that you can actually interact with, you can customize images, you can snooze them, dismiss them, all kinds of things. So we're going to dive in. So I have a um, version of uh, Visual Studio Code running here and I'm running PowerShell 7. So to show a burnt toast notification, the easiest thing to do is to use new burnt toast notification. Uh, when I run this particular script, what you're going to see is a notification appear in the top uh, right or bottom left bottom right corner here, um, and this is the default notification for um, burnt toast. So we can customize things like the text. So if we wanted to say "Hello World," and this would actually show "Hello World." Um, additionally, uh, this takes a hash table or a list of strings. So you can say hello world from PowerShell and what you're gonna see is now we have a title uh, followed by like a grayed out um, annotation is what they call it. Um, you can see it and it's coming from Windows PowerShell. Additionally we can add things like logos so if you use the app logo parameter and I put in a logo and then send a notification you'll see now the universal dashboard logo, uh, logo is actually used instead of the default burnt toast logo. Um, notifications, as you can see, if I send a couple of them, they are going to uh, pop up on top of each other, and as you dismiss one, another one pops up. Uh, that's because their unique identifiers are the same, but if we actually use unique identifier and specify toast, toast1, and you see I have my notification here, and if I run the script again, it's going to replace that notification with a new notification because the unique identifier is the same. Um, there are other cool controls that we can do. Um, instead of just showing text, you can also do things like progress bars. So let's do progress bar, um, and you can have multiple progress bars, that's why it accepts um, an array of progress bars. So we specify the progress bar, we're going to specify some status, so we're copying some files, and then our value needs to be between 0 and 1, so we're going to say 20% here. And now when I run this script, you'll see now I have a progress bar showing on site, inside my toast. Um, additionally, we can get a little more interactive as well by uh, specifying sounds. So I want to use the call sound, and then I'm just going to specify some text of new call incoming. And when I run this, you can hear that it actually changed the uh, incoming sound. So there's a bunch of different built-in sounds. Um, you can also, these are like the default window sounds. You can also use your own custom sounds as well. Um, there's other aspects of notifications that you can configure as well. For example, things like the header. So if I wanted to adjust the header, I could use new BT header, um, specify a title, uh, Iron Man software, ID of one, and if we execute that, you can see now we have a title on the top of our notification. Um, in addition to uh, sounds and progress bars, you can also have some interactive capabilities. So instead of header, let's actually do button. Um, or we could have multiple buttons, but I'm just going to have one button and set the content to Iron Man software and the uh, argument here is just going to be a URL so um, in this case when I cl click the button it should pop me over to the website so you can see it's loading the website right now and you could do that with uh, any um, any particular uh, URL if you wanted um, I will show you how to run a PowerShell script quick with this. Uh, it's a little complicated because of how the Toast system works. It's actually running in Windows RT and uh, interacting with uh, applications is a little tricky. So what we need to do is actually set up a custom protocol handler. So 
So what a, pro a custom protocol handler allows you to do is register a custom protocol with Windows and then execute an application when that particular protocol is called. So in this case, I'm actually using the HTTPS protocol and that's why it's launching the web browser because the default protocol handler for HTTPS is, uh, in my case, uh, cr or Credge, Chromium Edge. Um, but what we could do is actually run PowerShell scripts. Um, to do that, first we need to register our protocol handler. So uh, this are, these are the registry keys that I needed to create. Um, you can see that I am creating a new registry key in HKey classes root uh, called PowerShell. And this is going to be the PowerShell protocol handler. And then from there, I'm going to um, specify PowerShell.exe as the um, where I get my icon from. And then finally, in this PowerShell shell open command key, I am going to specify a burnt toast CMD file. And then I'm going to, this uh, percent one here is actually getting the first argument passed to the protocol handler. Um, inside my burnt toast.cmd file, you can see I'm just pretty much calling PowerShell.exe with a hidden window, um, bypassing execution policy. And then I'm grabbing the first um, parameter that's passed, which is going to be the full protocol handler URL. So that is going to start with PowerShell. So I'm going to get rid of that PowerShell and I'm going to trim off an extra uh, trailing character at the end. And we're going to execute that script. So pretty much this, um, this command line will execute the PowerShell script. So I'm going to show you an example of that. So we'll go back to my demo. I don't want to type all this out. But I am going to create a new burnt toast notification. I'm going to create a new button uh, with the content of run script. And then I am going to specify my PowerShell uh, protocol handler. And I'm going to pass the path of the script that I want to run to that PowerShell protocol handler. Um, and then I'm going to make sure the act activica eh, activation type is protocol. So now when I run this, uh, let's see that. And you can see now I have my button run script. And saw the console window pop up there for a second. And if we look at the script that I ran, all it does is write hello world and then outputs this hello.txt file. And you can see now I have a hello.txt file. So you could run any PowerShell script you want using this, this particular protocol handler. What's kind of interesting about protocol handlers are that uh, they work system-wide. So if I open the run dialog and I want to post my protocol, you can see here I have the PowerShell protocol here and I click OK. Uh, it does the same thing, so um, it just behaves just like that anywhere um, in Windows. All right, so uh, that is how you um, run PowerShell scripts from Actions. Um, there's a couple other things I want to show. Uh, first of all is get BT history. So this will actually show you all the different um, notifications that you sent. Um, I also want to show that you can... Um, hide notifications directly from PowerShell. So uh, the way to do this is you need to specify a unique identifier uh, for your notification. I'm just going to show this notification. It says Universal Dashboard with the UD logo. And then if I call Remove Notification, it's going to actually remove it if I specify the unique identifier using the group property or parameter. So let's show my notification. You can see my notification there is there, and I won't click on it, but I'll use remove BT notification to actually remove the notification itself. All right, so now I'm going to show you a really complicated example of what you can actually do with um, notifications. So my understanding is that um, the notification system uses XML files to actually create these um, these notifications, and you can customize them quite a bit. So there are a bunch of different PowerShell commandlets in Burnt Toast to actually customize these notifications. And here's an example of really customizing um, one of the notifications. So I'm going to create a select box. So you can use new BT input um, and then specify some select box items. And then uh, you'll see that we can actually select those. Um, then we're going to put some additional text in there and then use these series of commandlets to more or less uh, create the content of the particular notification. And then rather than using new uh, burnt toast notification, we're going to use submit BT notification, which takes all this stuff that we put together and submits it to the notification system. 
So one of the um, current limitations of Burnt Toast is that we won't actually be able to access this input directly. So uh, I think you know eventually that'll get figured out. But if you have some ideas on how to improve the Burnt Toast project so that we can get notifications and input, definitely chip in. Um, but let's execute this and see what this looks like. So now you can see that we have a little notification here. It has um, this select box that allows us to select different items and then uh, we can click the check check it out button and it will be dismissed. So in this uh, video I showed you how to use Burnt Toast to send all different types of notifications and launch PowerShell scripts from notifications. Definitely go out to GitHub, check it out, download it from the PowerShell gallery, and subscribe if you want to hear more cool modules on Mondays.